All right, here is a quick run through on how to get a second or third mod installed using the launcher. I already have it open. As you can see, I already have the official forms Fnatic servers installed, and the War of the Walkers is already installed. But I don't have the hardcore True Survivor form Fnatic server. So I'm going to use that right now, but it applies the same way to War of the Walkers or any other mod that you see here. Now, you make sure you're on Advanced right here. That, that you'll see this screen. Now it says Destination Folder for Mods up here. That's going to be the folder that you install the mods to. Mine's already there highlighted this way because I already installed that one and that one in there. So yours should also already be selected. So you shouldn't have to touch this at all. Now, what you want to make sure you're paying attention to is down here. If you're clicking on the red X, you should see this down here. Now, in this box is where your 7 Days to Die Steam version is located. This is what mine is. Mine is here. Programs, Files, x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, 7 Days to Die. See? Since I've already done it before, it's there. But I'll do it here just to show you. You would hit Computer, then C Drive. Program Files x86, scroll down to Steam, then scroll to Steam Apps, and then Common, then you would click 7 days, and then click OK. And now what you're going to do is you're going to hit Create Copy. And what it's doing is it's creating another copy of 7 Days to Die <clears throat> inside this folder here. Although, when it creates it, it creates it with underscores in it. Same idea. Even though you wrote it with spaces, it's creating it in an underscore one. And you'll see here, I'll open it inside here. <clears throat> There's the one that I created up there. It just copied it and created it here. And as you see, when I go inside, it's got all of them in there. Official forums, War of the Walkers, Hardcore. But we'll get to that. Right now, it's still copying the copy from Steam. <clears throat> and when it's done copying it, you'll see that you'll be able to... It's already lit up there for me. We just got to wait till it's done copying. <clears throat> now, even if I add 10 servers, and they're all here, this install process is the same for each one. You would click the one with the red X in it. Make sure the folder is always the same up here. And then you would click into your Steam drive down here, your Steam folder down here for 7 Days to Die. You'd find it, and you would create the copy, and it would create a copy for you. This takes a little bit of time, so... We're not filming Star Wars. We're not going to use special effects and speed it up. See, now it's done, as you can see. So, all you'd have to do now is select the one you want to play. You want to play Hardcore True Survivor, you select it, and then you click play. And what it'll do is it'll download the mods, take like maybe 20 seconds, it'll refresh and download the mods, and then it'll start right up. I'm not going to click that now because obviously it'll cut into the recording, but it's, it's just basically as simple as that. No matter what we do in the future, how many servers we add, the process is the same way each time. And like I showed you over here, what it'll do is it'll just keep making this Forum Fanatics, which is that part, Forum Fanatics. And now here's the branches inside Forum Fanatics. The True Survivor, see it's all there. Seven Days to Die. Official Forum Fanatics. Mods is in there because I clicked play already on that one. And then War of the Walkers. Mods is in there because I clicked play on that one as well. So when I click play on the Hardcore True Survivor, mods will be put in there too and the mods will get installed. And that's really about it. Um, if you have any more questions, you know where to reach me.